everyone thanks for joining me for math today we're going to try this out and see how it works like this i know before i just assigned you some worksheets to do and some videos that i have posted in the past but let's try a live lesson and see how this works out okay so we're going to do it as close to what we do in the classroom so remember the first thing that we always would do would do some whole body counting and since we're sitting down we won't stand up for this one let's just stay seated so i want you to Wave your fingers to me and count to 10. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Good job. I hope you're waving those fingers strong. All right. I want you to pull on your earlobes. These are your earlobes 10 times. Ready? <clears throat> Excuse me. I have a frog in my throat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Let's do our hands open and close ten times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. How about touching your elbows ten times? Let's let's touch them together. Let's see if we can do that. That's a little tough, but let's try that. One, two, three, four, five, six seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. All right. Now I want you to swim forward with your arms. Be careful not to hit anybody. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Let's do that backwards. Last one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. See, there's still some things we can do sitting down like we do standing up. That's not so bad, right? Okay, this time we're going to count to 20, and I know we can't count around the circle because I don't see everybody. Maybe we can try that on our live meet this week. But right now what I want you to do is I'm going to start counting. So I'll say 1, and then you tell me the next number, and then I'll say the next number. All right? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Nine, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Did you say 20? Good job. We counted up to 20 together. All right, we're going to do that one more time. This time you're going to start and then I will go. Okay, uh, the opposite. All right, ready to start? What's the first number? Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Hooray, twenty. Silent cheer. You did it. And again, we'll try that during our live meet this week, and then we'll be able to hear, and we'll go around with everybody who joins us and see if we can count up to 20 again. Nice job, my friends. Okay, let's see. I'm thinking of a word problem. So I have two turtles, and in another part of my house, I have three birds. How many animals do I have in all? Two turtles and three birds. I'm going to get my fingers on the screen. How many animals in all? Did you say five? I hope you did. One, two, three, four, five. So we have a total of five animals. See the marker I have on my hand? I don't know. That doesn't look good, Mrs. Clark. I was messing around with my dry erase markers that we're going to do next time or this time later on in our lesson. And I got dry erase markers on my fingers. So sorry about that. Okay. So let's do some quick drills. I'm going to show you a number, and I want you to put up your fingers that match that number. So you're not going to shout it out. You're just going to put up your fingers that match that number. Did you do this? I hope so. How about this? I hope you did this. Good job. Whoops. How about this? Good job. How about this? Good job. How about this? Hope you did that. Good job. And last one. 
How about this? You should have done this. Good job. Next, I'm going to show you some dots. And I want you to tell me how many dots you see with your eyes. One. Good job. Zero. What did you see? Three. I hope you saw three. How about this one? Three. Good job. Oh, this is a tricky one. What did you see? Did you see five? One, two, three, and then four, five. That one was tricky. All right. What did you see? Two. What did you see the other way? Two. Good. How about this way? One. Nice. How about this one? Four. Three, oops, on this side, and then one. Three plus one is four. Good job. One more. What did you see? Did you see five? I saw three on the bottom and then two at the top. Three plus two is five. Good job. All right, let's take a look at some other dot cards. This time I want you just to tell me what, how many you see of the purple dots? How many do you see? I'll keep that up for you because that one's a little bit tougher. Four is the right answer. How about this one? How many purple dots do you see? Five. I see four and one more. Five. How many blue dots do you see? One. Easy peasy, right? How many black dots do you see? Four. Good job. How many pink dots do you see? Two. Good job. One more. How many green dots do you see? Four. I see two and two. Great job. All right, friends, I think your brains are warmed up enough. And what I want you to do right now is I want you to grab, I put in your packet a piece of paper tucked inside a plastic sheet. This is going to be your dry erase board today for our lesson. So I want you to grab that and I want you to get a get your dry erase marker that I put in your packet too. Mine's a little bit fatter, yours is a thinner one. So you should have your dry erase paper board. This is what we're going to use for a board. I put mine on a clipboard because I'm not sitting at a table and I want to be able to show it to you. And then your dry erase marker. All right. So I'm going to tell you a number and I want you to write that number on your board. So hopefully you guys are all ready to go. All right. I want you to show me, and this is, we're practicing writing our numbers because some of us still have some trouble writing and that's okay we're still in kindergarten but we just need to keep on practicing to get those numbers straight so i want you to show me i'll start with an easy one show me the number one please oh my dry erase marker isn't working very well i'm going to see if i can find another one just because it's not working very well let's try this one mrs clark good thing i have a backup plan all right show me the number one. Oh, much better is this what you have? Good job. You don't need to erase your board if you don't want to. I have a paper towel in case I want to, but you can leave yours all up until we're all done and then you can erase it. Choice is yours. All right, show me the number three. Three. Okay, hopefully this is what you did. Great job. Show me the number seven. The number seven. Hopefully this is what you have on your board. If not, please make sure you write it. If you weren't sure how to write it, please make sure you write it after you see mine because that's very important that you lock that in your brain, how to write that number seven. Good job. Show me the number four. 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 Is this what you have? I hope so. Again, if you weren't sure about that, go ahead and write it. Put that on your board so you can lock that in. 
Good job. Let's see. Oh, here's a tricky one. Show me the number eight. That one's kind of wiggly, right? It's almost like we have two snakes that are put together around and around and around. That's the way I like to say it, like a figure eight, like you're skating. Around and around and around. Again, if you weren't sure, make sure you write it after looking at mine. I need to start on the other line. So the next number I want you to write is the number two. This one always tricks people up a little bit, and sometimes we'd make this one backwards. Here's our number two. So we start up here, go down, and over two. Good job. Next one I want you to write is the number five. Five is the other one that sometimes tricks people too, that you they write it backwards. But I know you can do it. There we go. And if you're not sure, the way I write is I start here and go around like a backwards C, and then I give it a little tap there. Five. Perfect. Let's see what numbers are we missing. Oh, how about the number nine? Show me the number nine. Nine. Sometimes that one tricks people too because it's hard to do that one a little bit. You've got a little circle at the top and then the straight line down. Good job. Let's see what number we're missing. We have one, two, three, four, five. Oh, we haven't got a number six yet. Go ahead and draw number six. Six. This is like an upside down nine almost, isn't it? Six. It's a little curvy, whereas the nine has more of a straight line down. Six. Please make sure you write that. And the last number I want you to try is a 10, a 10. Ooh, that's when we get into two digits when we're writing our number, right? A 10. A 10. This one is a one and a zero, a 10. And I would have you write a zero, but we've already got a zero and 10, so we kind of Got to do two things at once, writing a 10, and then there's that zero in case somebody says, how do you write a zero? All right, I hope your letter, your numbers are all written nice and neat. So go ahead and erase your boards. Erase with your paper towel, a napkin, your hand, which isn't really a good choice, but if you don't have a paper towel or a napkin, I suppose you could use that. I'd rather you not though. <laughs> All right, next thing we're going to do is I'm gonna say a number and I want you to write the number that comes next, all right? So if I said to you one, what comes after one? Two, then that's the number you would write, okay? So listen for the number and then I want you to write the number that comes next. All right, my number is eight. What comes after eight? And that's okay if you have to count in your mind. Maybe you're not quite sure what comes right after eight right away and maybe you have to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What's the number? Nine, hopefully you wrote nine. Great job. Again, you can erase it. I'm gonna erase mine. If not, you can leave it on there for the next one too. You can uh, store them all up and then you can erase it at the end. All right, what number comes after two? What number comes after two? Did you write three? I hope you did, three, good job. Go ahead and erase your board. What number comes after five? What number comes after five? One, two, three, four, five. Did you write six? I hope you did, great job. What number comes after Four. What number comes after four? Hmm. Did you write five? I hope you did. Good job. All right, we'll do one more. What number comes after one? What number comes after one? That's easy peasy. Did you write two? 
I hope you did. Two comes after one. Nice job, friends. Okay, you can go ahead and put the lid back on your marker. You did a great job with that. This you can use anytime while we're on in doing our online learning um, when we're away from school and even when we come back. This is yours to keep and to practice writing with your dry erase marker. Easy enough to do, right? You could do your letters, you can do your numbers, you can, um, what else? Letters, numbers, all kinds of things. Words, sight words. Um, and you could even draw a picture, but I prefer you work do some work first and then you can draw your picture, all right? Just like we do at school. We don't really use this for drawing, we use it for learning, and then I let you do a little bit of drawing afterwards. Okay, now the last thing I just wanna tell you about is the last thing that I want you to do, but we're not gonna be online to do this, so you can do this when you're ready to do it. This is a picnic table, which I wish it was the summertime. Of course, it's winter, so um, we can dream about the summer coming up. Well, it's not quite winter, almost winter. But you are going to take a look at each of these items and you're gonna count how many of those items there are on the table, okay? So when you count, so look, well, I'll do one with you real quick so you can see how to do it. So this is like a can, I would think of like Coke or some sort of pop, right? So I'm gonna count right here one. And I want you to count out loud when you do these so you can be practicing counting. One, two, three, four, Five. So there's five cans of pop. So here's your cans of pop. You're going to color in five squares. So let me do that real quick so you can see what I'm talking about. So I'm going to count again. One, two, three, four, five. So I colored in five squares to represent five cans of pop. And for extra added bonus, if you want some practice, right next to that picture, you can write the number, because that would give you good practice to write the number as well that you see. Okay, so you do that for all six items, and then you can color in your picnic table too with all of the items on the table as bonus. Make sure once you finish this, you put it back in your envelope so you can bring it back to school and show me what a great job you did. All right, my friends, if you have any questions, you know where to reach me. You can always send me a message through Clever, or you can have your mom and dad send me a message through Remind. So miss you guys. Work hard on your math, and I'll see you soon.